What's up everyone? Uh, today we are going to work with uh, system timers and the particular one that we are going to work with is save data periodically uh, to create an event that happens every five seconds. Um, you're going to want to start your Visual Studios and you're going to want to select C Sharp as your language and you're going to want to select Windows Form.net application and go ahead and open your project which will look like mine right now and we are going to just go ahead and double click on this form and inside of this private void form load we are going to go ahead and go timers dot timer equals new system.timers dot timer and in this section right here you can call how long you want your um, your event to happen like you can trigger an event every if you wanted say every five seconds you would just put in five thousand uh, milliseconds and if you wanted it to be more than that, you could go ahead and you could change that to more. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Now on this, you're not using actual form timers because you're using your system timer. So if you see like timer, like say this, you see, um, say timer.start. And then we go timer lapsed plus equals save data periodically. So once we have that, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create ourselves a void we'll just go below this and do right now so we're gonna go void um, save data periodically and we're gonna go ahead and call an object on this and I'll explain why we do this after because some of you might be scratching your head right now um, Anyone that's kind of familiar with coding that's worked with stuff like this and objects or whatnot. And with, you know, with C Sharp, you know, it, it's object based as well. VB.net's more so object based. Um, but like I said, I'll explain it in a moment. And bugs. And we'll fix all the the red that you see here in a moment. Um, we'll be adding something to our assembly. A reference that is. Um, so in here is where you would basically create your event that you want to have triggered. So let's just say we'll use a message box just as, oops, if I can spell right. Um, we'll just use a message box for instance right now. Um, there are other examples you could use. You could use a process start. You could use whatever it is that you want to use. Um, I'll just say this is working. And we'll put that there. And so we're going to handle these little issues that we have going on right here. And how we do that. here and using system timers and as you can see the issues have cleared so as you were asking you were probably like um, you know why do I have to use an object sender can I just call save data periodically you know um, like you you may you know let's say you wanted to just you know basically have this this is what I mean by what I just said 
you know, and just have it look like this. And um, the reason that you don't is basically you don't need to call the save data periodically. After you commit to the event, the timer elapsed. Basically, um, it will uh, be automatic. It will automatically be called every time the event is fired, which will happen every five seconds because this is the value supplied to the constructor, which is here. So you can go in here and change this to, like I said, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can, you know, if you wanted to have this thing go longer, you could, uh, you know, and one good way to do that is you could go online and type in milliseconds to seconds or milliseconds to minutes or milliseconds to hours um, on under Google, like, and it will have it pop up and you can use that as a reference to to do all your millisecond calculations if you wanted this to be an event that took place further down the road. But I'm going to go ahead and run this and just kind of give you an idea how this works. We'll cross our fingers and hope it works. So as you can see, our form is loaded and we should be having, there's our first message box after five seconds. Another five seconds, we'll have our other one. There's another one. There's another one. As you can see, these are popping off every five seconds. And this will keep going. It won't stop. And, you know, if you wanted this to be every one second, then you would have a lot of message box on your hands. It would just keep happening. And this comes in really handy if you're creating a system where you want to be able to have, you know, um, different events take place. You know, if you're, say, you're designing a program and you want it to be able to say you're having it, you know, turn on your lights or turn them off, you know, it's kind of like a sprinkler. You're, you'd have a timer system set on it to do whatever you want. And as you can see, it just keeps shooting out more of them. So anyway, you guys get the idea. And um, that's really all it is. You have, you double click your form and you're putting this inside your form. You're dealing with this here. And after you do it, you're going to hear it, when all this is read, you're going to hear and you're just telling it to add, you know, let me clean this up real quick. You're just basically adding this and that's all you got to do. So anyway, that covers um, system timer events and I hope this was helpful for you guys and I hope you have a good day.